Hi, I'm Russell, and this is my 911 964 Turbo, my pride and joy. So I think the car's pretty perfect now. It was um, pretty okay when I bought it, but it's needed some work. So the guys here at Design 911 have done some paintwork to it. So as is typical of a lot of 911s, they suffer from specific bits of rust in particular places. So A pillars, under the lights, rear wheel arches and so on. So the guys here at Design 911 have uh, sorted that out for me. Um, and we added wheels. So the 3.3 turbo comes with standard 17 inch cup wheels, which are a bit flimsy, to be honest, a bit lackluster. Um, so it now has 18 inch Speedline copies. So they are copy wheels rather than genuine because the genuine ones are an absolute fortune. Um, and I think it really, really sets the car off now uh, and makes it look kind of 3.6 turbo-ish uh, and just, just gives it a more purposeful and kind of meaningful stance really. So I um, wonder what you think of the plate, Go 92, there's a story to this. Um, I think it's a pretty good plate, as in a plate that's appropriate for a sports car, because it kind of denotes Go 92 miles an hour, I guess. Um, but that's not the reason I bought it. The reason I bought it was because this plate was on my dad's car back in the 1980s. So as a kid, when I was kind of 13, 14, 15 years old, I remember this being on his, uh, his Aston, and then he sold the car with the plate on it. And it's one of those things as a kind of childhood memory that I kind of really, really think back to. It kind of really means a lot because it kind of reminds me of my, my late father. Um, and lo and behold, 40 years later, so just earlier this year, I saw the plate advertised and so I bought it and stuck it on my car, which is, um, without being all soppy about it, kind of quite a nice thing to do, I think, really. So it's kind of my dad's plate on my 911 Turbo. How cool is that? So back in the day when the 911 Turbo was first produced, which was 1975, 1976, I think, it was pretty much the fastest road car that you could buy. So the 930 Turbo, uh, which back then was a three litre. This now, a couple of generations later, this was a 3.3 .3 as a 964. So obviously the later model with power steering, with ABS, a much more refined car. Um, and 381 brake horsepower, which back then was an awful lot of power. You know, naught to 60 in kind of five seconds, it'll do, not that I've tried it, but 165, 170 miles an hour. Um, and what's funny is that actually that's not particularly fast now by modern day standards. So obviously there's lots of cars out there, particularly at the top end of the spectrum that are much more powerful and much quicker. Um, and interestingly, whenever I'm out in this, I always get the kind of guy in the AMG C-Class or the kind of M2 or whatever, pulling up alongside me at the traffic lights or you know, sitting right up behind me as I'm going through the lanes, trying desperately to race. And they're probably in cars that are now, 30 years later, faster than this car, right? They'll, they'll be quicker off the line, they'll be quicker through the gears, but it's kind of not the point, really. The, the point is that this is a 30-year-old piece of motoring heritage. It's, a, it's an icon, right, in terms of the way it looks, the way it drives, the way it sounds, of course, being a flat-six uh, air-cooled engine. Um, and so it, it's not really about what's fastest. It's, it's about how the car carries itself, and that's why I love it. So yes, there are faster cars. You can definitely buy something that's quicker off the line but that would be to miss the point. This is a Porsche 911 and it's iconic and it's as simple as that. So yeah, so that's my, um, my 911 Turbo, my 964 Turbo. Um, by the way, the reason I bought it, apart from it being lovely, beautiful, iconic, um, and just being just one of the most gorgeous looking cars on the road, even though it is the age it is, um, is because they're going up in value and hopefully they'll continue to do so. So um, my whole philosophy, whether it's this or one or two other cars that I own, is to invest in things that I love and that I can look at and enjoy but at the same time, they actually appreciate, they actually accumulate in value. So hopefully where this thing has gone up in value over the last kind of three, four, five years, it will continue to do so on the basis that there's such a following now for classic 911s, particularly the rare ones, the ones obviously where there's not so many of them, like in this case. Um, so yes, fingers crossed that that happens um, and um, that I can continue to convince my wife that these are a good investment and that I can keep buying them and um, storing our money away in them rather than in other assets, frankly. Um, so that's it, that's my car and um, hope you've enjoyed the video, thanks.